So how are you doing guys? Um, welcome to this video. We're going to check out this user's table. When you click on it, you see that it shows the username and uh, shows the role and um, what else? The password. Nobody ever needs to know the password. Look at Laravel automatically encrypts the password for us. Nobody ever needs to see it. So we're going to pull out the password. So we go to our resources, views, go to users and uh, it's on table so if we go to table we can pull out the password delete it password field nobody ever needs to see the password even if you see it is the encrypted version that you're seeing so even the remember token let me show you what the remember token looks like it just looks like the password long like this we don't nobody needs to see the remember token nobody needs to see it so we'll delete remember token delete it remember token nobody needs to ever see it it's just for use inside the platform now uh, we are sorted reload beautiful now the next thing we need to do is to be able to click on the name and see the user profile for now we can do it by clicking on this if you click on this it takes you to this user's profile all right but we need to we need it to happen in the name so we're going to copy the link here and just transfer it to this so if we get back this is the link we want to copy we we'll grab it then we delete the full line then we come to the username here the username we'll do we we'll paste it see ahrefs we we'll paste oops I accidentally deleted the one okay ahrefs so we close this beautiful and then we're coming here we put a closing ahrefs tag a tag anchor tag now we have it here the username is now a link check it out Hello. beautiful all right so we need to pull out the role so uh, the other thing is that only admin should be able to see this this column we don't want uh, a webmaster looking at the list of users that have bought his product and is able to edit their profile no it shouldn't happen no 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 we can't let it happen so how we're going to solve it is that this action look at it this this is action if you look here you will see that it's action only admin should see action so remember how we do it we're going to use the blade if statement you remember Alt. we're going to check for the log currently logged in user then we're going to check their role ID. Is their role ID that of a moderator or an admin? So that is if it's less than three, they are either working for the admin or the admin. That's it. If it's less than three, then they are, of course they can then see this. And if period, that's simple, which means only admin can see it. Now we've done for the action. We need to actually do. We have hidden this action keyword. Then we can now work with this tool. We have to hide this tool too. So if we scroll down, we'll see it. Look at it here. We need to hide it. So above it, we'll place this. Only admin should be able to see that. And um, below here, we'll do end if. End if. Beautiful. So only when somebody is logged as an admin, that's the only time they should be able to see that. So we we'll reload. And guess what? Eureka, it's gone because we're not logged in as admin. If you remember clearly, our role ID is 4. Look at it here. It, if it's less than three that is it's either one or two that's the only time uh, we can be able to um, see that now the next thing is that we need to display the role id of this person so but um we have not actually told laravel how user is linked to role do you understand a user can have one role one role can have many users that is one to many relationship and many to one that's the inverse so just is identical to what we have had before remember where we had in transaction a transaction belongs to many users so that's the same kind of relationship a user has you understand a transaction can only have one user in our own case a user can only have one role that means a user belongs to one role so we're going to copy this and go to user and say a user belongs to one role so a user we're going to call it role that's why it's singular this one is plural because a user can have many transactions look at it has many transactions so but a user can belong to only one role so get the role that owns the user 
for this user. Okay, so it belongs to, we are going to call it row. Then we are going to do the inverse. A row can have many users. So uh, if a row is admin, for instance, there can be multiple admins. So we're going to copy this and go to admin. Where is it? In row. This is row model. We scroll down at the bottom here. We're just going to add it and call it users. So a row can have many users. Get the users for this row. A row can have many users. Then we're going to do add model user because look at it, we're pointing to this user, and that's beautiful. Now we've done it, we can now use from this, um, let me close all this. Um, where were we? I think we were somewhere here. Role ID. Yeah, from here, we can now mention the actual role ID. If we use that function we created, and type this, and call name. This is, if you go to the role table, you will see a column called name. And that column should contain the name of the role. So if we refresh, guess what? It's going to appear here. Bang! And that is beautiful. This is awesome. This is awesome. In case you're a little confused about where I got the, the name, if you go to the database, click on roles, you see that there's a column called name. That's why it was able to pull out the content. And that's it. It's just beautiful. All right, so I think the next thing is that the email field should be close to the name field and the role should be at the end. And it shouldn't be role ID, it should just be role or user level. I think, um, where are we here? Instead of calling it a role ID, I think it should be role or user level. I mean, user level, depending on what you want to call it, then it should be after the email. Sorry after the email yeah that's where the email is so we have the email here we're going to pick it up above the row and that's it we've cleaned up the index page so see you in the next video where we'll go to the user profile look at what the user profile looks like it's all empty you see it's scattered so we're going to come here and fix it fix this up too